by you telling me your name and how to spell it so I don't mess it up. <laughs> Fine. My name is John Harper, and it's spelled J-O-N. Okay, great. So um, tell me a little bit about how you found out about the gang and why you decided to uh, come out today and, and uh, talk to Team Mo and, and uh, do the practice run with them. Well, actually, we're not going to do the practice run today mm -hmm. because I have not been in shape since last year's Country oh, Music okay. Half Marathon. But um, I was a member of the downtown crew last year, and our goal was to assist my sister, who has Lou Gehrig's disease, in uh, knocking off something off her bucket list. And her mm -hmm. bucket list included being able to compete or participate in a marathon. So we organized a group that did similar to what Team Mo's doing, and trained throughout the year and different things. So this year, early on, I was contacted by Michelle from Team Mo and was wanting some information about the chair and different things before they had the whole uh, team into place. And I gave her some contact information and then later she, we've kept in touch and she asked that we might come out today, me and somebody from my team, and talk to the team about any kind of obstacles or things we face to kind of give them some pointers and help them along as they go through their journey. Oh, great, great. Well, we appreciate that. Um, so you you didn't get hooked on marathons and just want to keep doing them, huh? No, last year was such an emotional trying experience for me and my sister that mm -hmm. um, I, I can't do it again until um, I'm in a better place in my life. It was too much and trying for me. I, I, yeah. I had the most amazing time in my life with my friends being able to do that last year and that really meant a lot to me and I'm going to cherish that memory forever and mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. But I definitely enjoy coming out and doing things like yeah, this and assisting year. others that are doing it. I find it very rewarding and uplifting to see what they're doing. Yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about your sister, um, if you don't mind. Not at all. Um, my sister, uh, her name is Tommy. Um, she um, actually just moved back to Arkansas, where we were originally from. Um, the disease has slowed to a point with her, which I'm very happy to see. Um, however, she is now to the point where they're wanting to put her in a wheelchair full time and different things. So um, she's kind of starting life new in a way, um, starting over on her own and making life what it is and what she can out of it and seeing how much other things she can knock off her bucket list mm -hmm. <laughs> before the time comes. So. Mm -hmm. Is she older or younger than you? Um, Tommy is about three years older than me. She'll be, I think she's 42 now. Mm -hmm. um, she has three kids. Uh, all of them are grown. Um, one's about to graduate high school. Mm -hmm. And other than that, um, an amazing individual. She's done a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great that you were able to help her do that. And, you know, I mean, it's, um, it's easy for those of us who take health for granted to say, oh, you know, we all should live like that. But, you know, it's, it, it, it's really trite when you think about, you know, what folks who are facing um, cancer or serious illness, um, you know, are really dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. These guys here at Gilded's Gang are just incredible and very, very inspirational. So, you, I mean, Mo one time was telling me about all the things that he's been through with his cancer, and then he says, but other than the cancer thing, I'm pretty healthy. You know, and I'm like, okay, that's a good way to look at it, you know. That's awesome. Yeah, well, thanks for coming out. Thank you for having us.